Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. More and more often I'm seeing how frequent issues like this pop up and people just don't know how to calculate their change. So let's take a look at number 21 on the ASVAB. It says dinner at a nice restaurant costs $35.98. If Joan gave the cashier $40, how much change should she get back? So let's talk about some basics of like, okay, let's get a ballpark number first and then we can easily kind of lock in from there. If you're spending $35.98, I think most people would be able to tell the difference right here that 35 to 40 is a $5 difference. But here's the deal is you're paying more than 35. So that means that your change will not include $5. It's going to be $4 instead because it's 35 and some change. So then the question comes down to, well, how much change is that? Well, if we're looking here, it says 98 cents is in addition to that 35. Well, how much more would I need to make this 98 into a whole dollar? You would need two cents more. So in this case, we're going to end up getting change back of $4 and two cents. That means our answer should be B. So this is a crazy question just because it has so many units that we're dealing with at the same time here, and they're not always like carry over into a tens place or something. Let's take a look. It says a balloonist circumnavigated the globe in 13 days, 12 hours, 16 minutes, and 13 seconds. A plane circumnavigates the globe in four days, 10 hours, 15 minutes, and seven seconds. How much longer did it take for the balloon to go around the world? So here's the deal. Let's let's start off by making like a, a, a list, I guess, here. Here, I want to scoot this over a little bit. So we got 13, 12, 16, 13, and 4, 10, 15, and 7. So they want to know how much longer. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to subtract each one of these guys. So 13 minus the 4 is going to give me 9 days. So right off the bat, it's B or D. Then 12 minus that is going to give us 2 hours. So it looks like our answer here is going to be B. Let's double check. And then 1, 13 minus the 7 is going to give us 6. So we should have these guys right here. 9, 2, 1, and 6 seconds. B is our final answer. All right, we're looking at number 23 on the ASVAB arithmetic reasoning portion. It says Darlene bought 12 boxes of cookies for $48. What was the cost of each box of cookies? So here's the deal. If you're looking at this and you're like, die, I already know the answer. It's because you get what they're asking here. So the key comes down to is the people that are like, okay, I'm just not sure what I would do first here or what it is that it's asking for. So let's break this down on how I would choose what type of question this is. Darlene bought 12 boxes. So this is saying you got 12 boxes here of cookies. All right. There is a total of $48 spent. And they want to know the cost of each box. In other words, we're saying, how can we take this $48 and split it between 12 boxes? Now this mentality should be telling you what it is you need to do. If I'm taking a number and splitting it into equal parts, that is the same thing as dividing, all right? Multiplying would be, you know, taking this and making it a larger number. That's not what we're doing. We're taking this 48 and we are splitting it into 12 equal parts. Now, if you actually do this, this should be pretty easy because if you look right just at the two numbers individually, eight divided by two is four and four divided by one is four. So if I just do 12 times four, that's going to give me 48. So this answer is going to be A, four dollars. But the key is if you're struggling on questions like this, it's the conceptual thing you're having a problem with, not the work. All right, number 24, we're going to talk some little trick tips here. It says a tune-up increases a car's fuel efficiency by 5%. If a car averaged 20 miles per gallon before the tune-up, how many miles per gallon would average after the tune-up? So we need to find 5% of this 20, and then we need to go ahead and add that to it to find out what our new average is going to be. Or we could find 105% of the 20 and do it that way as well. So let's talk about how you would do that the long way, but then I'll show you the shortcut that we're going to do. If I were to do it the long way, I would either take 0.05, times that 20 and then go ahead and add that back to the 20 or you could do 1.05 times that 20 and that would give you the final answer now what do i mean by shortcut well instead of writing all this out and doing the math you could just use shortcuts of like five percent is half of ten percent ten percent is really easy to find ten percent of 20 just means moving the decimal place over once to the left so ten percent of 20 is two so that means that if ten percent is two half of two five percent is half of ten percent half of two is one so that means five percent of 20 is going to be one so 20 plus one is just 21 so our answer here is d Number 25 on the other side says a lump jack wishes to drive a spike through the center of a tree with a circumference of 43.96 feet. What's the minimum length the spike needs to go completely through the tree passing through the center? So in this case, we're talking about circumference and then we're trying to get a uh, spike that's going through the center. Well, the important thing to know here is that circumference is going to be equal to the diameter of that tree times pi. Now, what do I mean by pi? Usually we're using like 3.14 for that, um, but that goes on and on and on. So in this case, we want to know the diameter, but they tell us the circumference is 43.96. So if I have that equal to the diameter times this 3.14, then all I need to do is divide both sides by 3.14 to find out what my diameter is. But looking at this right here, the other option would be plugging these in for D. And to be honest, the 3.14 is probably too much. Let's just try out with the 3 and see what happens. Now, I know 3 times 15. 3 times 15, well, 15 15 is 30, and another 15 is 45. So right off the bat, what makes this question a little bit easier is the fact that multiplying by just 3 already puts me above this 43.96 if I use the 15. That means there's only one item that's going to be smaller than that, and that would be the 14. So if we end up doing 14 times that 3.14, you would find out that we do indeed end up getting this 43.96, meaning our answer is A. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.